Chelsea 0, Man United 0. Man United were unable to collect the points today to move closer to City. What was your take? Uh, starting from the lineup, lineup. I mean, I do understand you have injuries, but that was the best lineup to go with. Having that, Martial is one of the starting uh, uh, players in the lineup. Martial should have started. I know he's known for, but having that, he's uh, number. I mean, he's a first team player. He should have started on that game. Um, next on our. Uh, we look the, we look, we, to me, we were the better team, but we couldn't take our chances. All the chances we created, we couldn't convert them. The hair played good. Uh, I'll let you take a few from them. Yeah, the, the starting lineup was, uh, at, at first glance, you expect a draw, maybe even a loss. But the first half, the tactics of, of the high press really caught Chelsea off guard. I thought it was a very good idea. Um, despite Martial being on the bench, I thought Dan James played a very good game. Uh, I thought Rashford played a very good game. I think uh, maybe Greenwood could have come off earlier, but other than that, I mean, we really, we really, really should have won. We really should have won. Okay. Um, yeah, we have injuries with that lineup. Uh, it was the kind of lineup that required everybody to play lights the fuck out. So, and that's clearly not what happened. Like, you know, that effective yes he pushed them back but whenever he got the ball nothing really happened nothing was for like a good 45 minutes of that uh, um, good first half nothing was coming off the right side I saw twice twice in a row where Wapasaka passed the ball to Greenwood easily got intercepted by uh, a Chelsea defender but um, yeah we didn't take our chances and they man marked and played Puna out the park yeah, I think it was, um, man, um, just looking at the lineup, just right before the game, I knew it was going to be, I, I mean, I predicted it was going to be a draw, pretty much from the get-go. Just, just pretty much the way we set up, the players were playing. Um, initially, it looked like we are going to be pretty much defensive, but I was I, I was actually surprised that, that we went out attacking for a good part of that game. Um, I would say um, we could have nicked that win, in my, in, 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 in my opinion, because we, we made some mistakes, they didn't take advantage. We, uh, um, we, well, we made some mistakes, but the other way around too. It was, it was pretty much a 50-50 game. But I think, um, I think, uh, um, in my opinion, I think that James played okay. He was a threat. That's why Ole left him on the field. That's that's my opinion. We all know what Dan James. Can do. He's not a great player. He's not skillful. He's not technical. He's not a brilliant player. All he has is pace. And the thing is, that pace it worked today. Right. Whether you like it or not, it, it did work. Right. But uh, um, yeah, nil nil game. Yeah. Uh, uh, as far as the lineup is concerned, I think um, yeah, he, he tried to pick a lineup that would threaten Chelsea or put them on the back on the backfield, and you didn't see that really develop until the end of the first half. Uh, it, it looked like we were just trying to get used to each other, but after that, um, you know. Uh, it seemed as though we had some, so just some miscues. Like someone would set a pass that someone didn't run onto, or uh, a, a pass didn't wasn't made, and someone made a run. It was it seemed like we weren't on the same page. Right. So lack of communication on the field. Yeah, yeah. Was there any man out there player who stood up for? Who was your man out there's man of the match today? I think I give it to the hair for some for one reason. Uh, yeah, Chelsea that was. Chelsea didn't attack us so much, but the few they did, the hair saved, saved right. all, all of them. So okay. I give it to the hell to be man of the match, and I, I'm, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go back a little bit and say this. Again, it's all the top six teams, minus West Ham. We've been all draws, draws, draws. We gotta win one of these games. Yeah. I'm tired of seeing this. Apart from West Ham, I mean yeah. Leicester draw, Liverpool draw, City draw. Uh, yes. Who else? Arsenal. Leicester, uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. Back to back, Liverpool, uh, 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 Chelsea, home and away draw. Sad. I mean, I'm not gonna blame all on this. Someone else gonna blame all of this. But even the players, you gotta think, man, we ain't gonna get a draw over there. Gonna, we have to win one of these games. Cause you go like this, I mean, you gonna keep on saying next season. But I mean, I mean, you gotta win one of these games sometimes soon. Man of the match for United for you. Man of the match, David definitely kept us in the game. Uh, de definitely. I, I also, I also gotta hold up Fred. Defensively, he worked extremely hard for us. I think that's why at the end of the game he was so exhausted. Uh, but he's always uh, 
he's always a hard worker for the team. So it's between those two, but I'm kind of leaning Fred as far as the manager. I and mean, it's a hard match to pick. It's you you can say there's nobody. Out, out, out of all of them, I actually thought Luke Shaw was actually pretty solid. I thought Luke Shaw was actually pretty solid, doing exactly what uh, he was supposed to do. Defensively, he did Defensively, very well. Defensively, did very well. well. Yes. Um, yes. It, it, yeah, it's a split between him and maybe De Gea. It, yeah, I can't say anybody was a real standout. Standout. Okay. Uh, 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 for, me, for me, it would be... Uh, it be Fred. Fred worked his butt off. Fred. He did. He was so, you, Fred, you, Fred. If he lost the, if he lost the ball, well, he'd get it back. Um, and then even when, let's say, they were trying to make a run, he'd come run behind him and nick the ball off mm -hmm. him and then pass it on, and we'd be back on the break. So was, the only sad part was we never, we never really executed our chances that we had that he did, you know, turn the ball over. Pastor Fred, man. Fred. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. <laughs> I mean, he ran that midfield. He was mm -hmm. he was the best midfield in our team. To, he was the best midfield player in our team today. Right. Not, McTominay wasn't really influential. Everything was free. You, you could clearly see it. Defensively, he ran to the box. He, he was box to box. He was... He was yeah, Fred. and tried if to it score too. If Fred in that game, I think you could have lost that game. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fred, my you have so many right. moments where Aaron yes. Wan-Bissaka gets caught so high exactly. and he's and rotating he, he, he in and covering that yeah. spot. Yeah, I, I'm so beginning well. to see, I'm beginning to visualize yeah. that, yes, Fred really played well today. But also, having been his man of the match, man, he got to be better on finishing, man. I mean, yeah. He had a couple of Fred, Fred is left. Isn't he, isn't he left footed? He's left footed, right? Left footed. But that ball he bent was on his right foot. He had to just. At this point, I just need him to get it on target. He's not even getting it on target. Right? And this is not the first time. The thing about it is that we know Fred's strength and weaknesses. Shooting is not his strength and weakness. Yeah. Fred, Fred's strength, strength is being tenacious. Breaks up the play. That's, that's Fred. Okay. If, you, if, you're gonna, if you think he's going to score, he's not going to score for you. He's going to give you a, a, a good pass here and there, but that's pretty much about it. So okay. We're going to do the next segment in batches, all right? Glory, glory. Man, you know.